Okay, welcome to our first video of this week. Uh, today is Monday, May the 11th, and we are continuing our series on the most inspirational disciple. And uh, before we get into today's video, uh, I want to tell you that uh, just moments ago, uh, I'm sure everyone was prob probably heard the same as me that uh, the uh, governor is reopening the state of Louisiana and uh, so that's good news uh, and of course there are still many restrictions many guidelines that we all have to follow so uh, but the good news is that uh, uh, there's a there's a pretty good chance we're going to be talking throughout the week but there's a pretty good chance that we're going to be having church at least just Sunday morning service uh, this upcoming Sunday. So uh, that's that's good news, okay? Uh, but anyway, we're going to get into today's video. And uh, what we're trying to do in this series, as you know, is to determine uh, who do we feel the most inspired by. We're looking at people in the New Testament, and today... We are looking at two more people, uh, Philemon, and we'll talk about him if you don't know him, and then Peter. I'm sure you know a lot about Peter, uh, so we'll get to him in just a moment. Just a quick update on our, on our voting here. We are in the second section of our little uh, tournament, okay? And these, this is still the first round, all right? We, in this little section of the tournament, we have seen Barnabas uh, win the voting over James of Alphaeus. We saw Philip the Evangelist win the voting over Matthias. And I'm going to announce right here for the first time that our most recent video, which was on Friday, the voting is now over, and we had our first ever in this little tournament, our first ever um, shutout, I guess you would call it, like using the sports term. Uh, we had 100% of the votes went to Mark over Matthew. So Mark has now advanced, and he will be in the second round. And in the second round, he will be compared to the winner of our video today. So let's go ahead and get into our video. And I'm going to start with uh, Philemon, okay? Now, you may not know much about him, but... Um, I'm sure that you have heard in the Bible the book of Philemon. There is a book in the Bible in the New Testament. It's towards the back of your Bible, uh, close to Revelation, and it is called Philemon. Okay? So, the first thing that I want to tell you about this man, uh, first of all, let me say this, uh, uh, that... The book of Philemon is not written by him. It is written to him, okay? It was written by the Apostle Paul. It is a letter, and it was written to Philemon, okay? So please understand that. He's not the writer of the book. He is the recipient of the book. He got the letter from Paul. Now, the first thing that we know about Philemon is that the Apostle Paul calls him a fellow laborer. So I'm going to write that down. The first thing about Philemon is that he labored with the Apostle Paul. Okay? He labored with the Apostle Paul. I think you'll see that if you look at the book of Philemon, 
It is only one chapter, folks. You can read the whole book in probably less than 10 minutes. Um, and you'll see Paul called him a fellow laborer. Now, you'll notice, folks, that a lot of things from the New Testament, a lot of these people are connected in some way to the Apostle Paul. Please remember, I've said this many times, that in this tournament, no one has the resume that the Apostle Paul has, okay? But we're not going off of who has the biggest resume. It's who do we feel more inspired by. But Philemon, obviously, at one point in time, worked with the Apostle Paul. Now, I don't think it was necessarily in his travels. As you know, in our previous videos, we have learned the Apostle Paul took many missionary journeys. He had partners with him who went with him. We're told that Philemon was from the little city of Colossae. Now, folks, Colossae is... If you've ever read the book of Colossians, that's the area that this man was from. The Apostle Paul had spent time in that city with the Colossian church. So that's probably where they worked together. They were probably good friends and, and worked together, probably did some preaching together. And so anyway, that's a, the first thing about him. Now, the second thing we learn is that the Apostle Paul, let me read this quickly. Um, I don't get to read all the scriptures because it would make these videos very long. I try to keep them close to 20 minutes each. Okay, please listen to this. In verse 2, it says... And to our beloved Aphaia and Archippus, our fellow soldier, and to the church in thy house. Now, did you hear that? Paul says he's opening up his letter. It would be like you or me writing a letter, and we would say, From Scott to, and I would write your name, okay? Paul is saying, from me, and he says, I'm writing this to you, and he names a couple of other people, and he says, and to the church of your house. Now, that's interesting, because folks, in the early days of the church, there wasn't yet buildings like we have today, actual church buildings. A lot of churches met inside of the homes of the people. Well, we're told right there that Philemon had a church inside of his house. He was likely the pastor of that church. He was hosting it in his own home. So that's the second thing I'm going to write, is that he pastored a church in his house. Okay. All right. Now, the third thing that I'm going to say about him, I want to just tell you a little bit about the book of Philemon. Why? Why did Paul write a letter to him? Well, folks, it's a long story. Okay. Uh, well, really, it's not. It's one chapter, but it, it's, it's a lot to the story. But Philemon was a very wealthy man, and he basically had a big uh, business where he had servants that worked for him. You would basically have a contract that, okay, I'm going to sign a contract that I'm going to work for you for one year or two years or whatever, and anyway, there was a young man named Onesimus who left Philemon 
when he should have stayed and continued working for him, he left Philemon and not, didn't even tell him. He was probably very angry or something. Well, of, of all people for that young man who ran away to run into, he ran into the Apostle Paul. Paul preached to him and he got converted and became a Christian, this young man Onesimus. Well, Paul wrote a letter to Philemon and sent it back to Philemon with the young man named Onesimus. And basically, this little letter to Philemon was so that he would forgive this young man who had left him without even saying anything. So it was a letter about forgiveness, okay? It's a very good book if you read it when you get some time. But I'm going to write up here that Paul uh, wrote this, okay? I'm going to say it was a letter of forgiveness. That was the main theme of the letter. Paul was telling Philemon to receive this young man back and forgive him for what he had done, okay? So, and the last thing that I'm going to tell you, oh, and by the way, just a little side note here, Paul wrote the letter to Philemon while Paul was in prison, okay? But the last thing I'm going to tell you is that Philemon was martyred, okay? He was martyred. All right. Just like almost every other person in the tournament, this young, uh, this man uh, who was a pastor was martyred for his faith, okay? And we're told that it happened in the city of Colossae, which is where his ministry was, okay? So now that's a quick summary of Philemon. Let me talk to you about Peter. Now, I'm sure you know so much about Peter. Folks, I can't preach about him in one video. I'm just going to give you a few of the highlights of Peter, okay? I ask you to please be open-minded when you vote in this voting. Because, folks, if we're going off resume, Peter's list is going to be about a mile long, okay? Uh, Philemon didn't have the list that Peter's got. But please listen to the story of these two men and vote who you're inspired by. Peter, uh, we're told that when Jesus called the 12 apostles, Peter became the leader of those 12 men. So that's the first thing. He was the leader of of the 12 apostles. Okay. So not only was he an apostle, but he was the leader of the 12. Now folks, Peter did a lot of great things and he also did a lot made a lot of mistakes, okay? I think we know a bunch of them, right? Uh, I mean, he's famous for denying Christ three times, okay? There's even a story where Peter cut a man's ear off. He made a lot of mistakes, but Peter did a lot of great things as well. The second thing I'm going to tell you is that um, in the book of Acts, when God sent down the Holy Spirit to fill the church, there was a day, a special day, called the Day of Pentecost. Now, just to let you know, folks, that word Pentecost is a festival. That's all that word means. It's the name of a festival, and it means the 50th day of the Passover. That's all that word means. But it was a special day. Thousands of people were gathered together. And one man stood up and began preaching the gospel. 
And from that message that he preached, I think, what is it, 2,000 or 3,000 people got saved that day. You say, who was preaching that? It was the Apostle Peter right here. So I'm going to write up here, second of all, that he preached on the day of Pentecost. Preached on the day of of Pentecost. That was a celebration day. Thousands of people got saved that day. He, Peter was the one who preached it. Now, third of all, you probably know there are two books in the Bible called 1 Peter and 2 Peter. Okay? He wrote those letters. But now I also want to tell you that the book of Mark which we just talked about Mark, didn't we? The book of Mark was written because Mark got all the information from Peter. So you almost are reading what you could call the book of Peter, the gospel according to Peter. However, Mark was the one who wrote it, okay? So anyway, he wrote two books, but almost, you could almost say three, but anyway, I'm going to write up here that he wrote two New Testament books. Okay? And I'm going to go ahead and write, fourth of all, that he was also martyred for his faith. Okay? He was martyred for his faith, okay? Folks, I could say many more things about Peter. Uh, he's even the apostle that walked on water with Jesus. I tell you what, there's only one man that can put that on their resume in this tournament, and that's Peter. I think Peter uh, is probably, to everyone watching this video, he is, uh, he's probably one of your favorite people in the Bible. But folks, as I said, I ask you to please have an open mind as you vote. Do you feel more inspired by the story of Philemon, a man who labored with Paul, had a church in his home? There's a story of forgiveness about him and who gave his life for Christ. Or do you feel more inspired by Peter, the leader of the 12 apostles, the man who preached on the day of Pentecost, thousands got saved, wrote two New Testament books, and he also gave his life for Christ. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video today. The voting begins now for Philemon and Peter. Today is Monday, so the voting for this comparison will go through Wednesday at 3 o'clock p.m. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please vote by commenting on this YouTube video or by just sending me a text with your vote. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on tomorrow's video. Have a great day.